Hi guys, so this is my Craftsman and uh, this is the model number 172.452470 and uh, what I'm doing is uh, replacing the chainsaw on this particular one. This one um, tells you what size of chainsaw it takes. So it says 406 millimeter, 14A, 16 inches. And uh, this is the one I picked up from Amazon. So we're going to be installing this particular one. And it tells you different model numbers. Uh, my model number was not on there listed particularly, but what I did was um, matched up uh, the number of teeth. Uh, this one has 57, 40 centimeters, 16 inches, 3 eighths low profile. So just a few things I tried to match. and. Uh, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, disassemble this. Just undo this. This whole thing will come off. There you go. And uh, just get any gunk that you might have removed from there. And this is probably a good time for you to clean that as well. So as you can see, my chain is in pretty bad shape. If you really look at the teeth and stuff like that, you know, it's kind of broken from top. They're not that sharp anymore. They don't cut too well. So it's time for a replacement. I'm gonna put this one right here and uh, this is my new one lay it on top of it may have to undo and just make it look so one thing you will definitely want to do is uh, check to make sure the measurements are exactly the same so if you really look at it, it looks like it's the same measurements. Everything, you know, the same size. You can even match the teeth, just to be sure. Even though the number matches, as you can see, it's almost identical. So that kind of gives me another confidence level that this is a good one. Now on the link itself, it tells you the size, you know, so in case if you have a chain somewhere sitting around and you're not sure, you know, what the size is, you know, it tells you it's 16 inches. And on the back side, it just says the brand. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean some of this gunk out. You may want to do this in a garbage can or something so it doesn't make a mess. Okay, so this is this is nice and clean. So I'm going to wipe this off. Now the main goal is to get any of the debris out. You don't have to go crazy cleaning it. Now one thing you definitely want to make sure is uh, you put this in the right orientation because you don't want to mess that up so this one tells you how is the tension but it also tells you the way you put it in so make sure you follow the directions right here and right here on the bar itself it shows you the design how it's supposed to go so you, you want to make sure you match this particular section So let's go ahead and match that and this one looks this looks good it matches the picture and I'm gonna go 
looking like this go at the bottom and uh, you can see it's moving pretty good so now we're gonna put the old one on the side and get to the new one go ahead and clean this part up as well Okay, so this is nice and clean, and now I'm just going to go ahead and install this. Okay, so now we're going to put this on. There you go. So this is something you want to make sure this fits this particular pattern. This is something you want to make sure that this one fits in really good. You can make an adjustment later on. The main thing is to close it. So this way at least it's put in place and then you can follow the directions here how to loosen the inner knob and check change the tension so it says loser inner knob like this so the outside should be nice and tight but you want to loose it because we want to make a little bit you want to make the chain a little bit loose you know so there's not too much tension you definitely want to have enough and you can pull this front or back however you want it and when you find a desired one there you go so just hold this and just tight this this way this will give you there you go so this much tension is good and check the correct tension is reached and then retighten the knob so which we already did and now our chainsaw is ready to go so that's how simple it is to change the chainsaw on this particular model and again this is the brand that I got and this one fits in perfectly fine, the S57 Advanced Cut for my particular model, even though it was not listed here. But uh, as long as these conditions are met, it will work just fine. So guys, hopefully it helps you change your chain in your chainsaw. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you.